Early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam Topical Juice, and I'm back with another video for y'all. And this one's about this Travis Scott situation. This is one of the most tragic situations um, I've had to report on for real. And in my initial video, yeah, I I didn't want to put the blame on Travis in it. Yeah, I'm a fair guy, I see both sides, yeah. I didn't want to put all the blame on him. However, my tone is changing. It's This whole situation is looking very shifty. It's looking very weird. And my opinion has now changed. I believe that he has to have a bit more responsibility, a bit more accountability with what's happened. And his reaction afterwards was so weird and strange that it's just all a bit, it's all a bit, he's always, listen, he's always been a weirdo personality wise anyway. He's always been weird. I've never really connected with man's personality anyway. He's just a bit odd. Musically, I like him. He's cold in my opinion, but he's a bit strange. So yeah, I want to show you a video that he released following what happened. And we'll, yeah, we'll go from there because it's, it's, a, it's a very strange situation, this one. And um, he's definitely at fault for certain things, for inciting certain things, for inciting certain behaviors at his show. Uh, at his shows and me obviously when I'm at the show I love Travis I love a wild show as well so I'm here for it but this is this is now an example of when it goes too far and it's gone wrong do you know what I'm saying so maybe he needs to look at himself so let's get into this video man it's gonna be an interesting one let me know your uh, let me know your thoughts not the end like the video for me my brain's fried subscribe to the channel for me if you want to support your boys merchandise in the description below and please hit the bell to be notified because all those things they really do help push the channel and stuff and yeah man roll to 50,000 the realest and the rated one let's go now anyway so I was watching Jamari the other day uh, I don't know if you know him a big youtuber from America and um, this is where I got the, the footage of the video from so I'm just gonna play his uh, his I'm gonna play his response now I just want to send out prayers to the to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. You know, my fans, my fans like, my fans really mean the world to me and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. And any time I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I just stop the show and, you know, help them get the help they need, you know? Um, I could just never imagine the severity of the situation. Uh, we've been working closely. Uh, we've been working closely with everyone to just try to get to the bottom of this. The city of Houston, HPD, fire department. You know, everyone to, uh, you know, help us, help us figure this out. So if you, if you have any information, um, you know, please just contact your local authorities. Um, Everybody continue to just keep your prayers. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly just devastated. and I could never imagine anything like this just happening. And I'm gonna do everything I can to keep you guys updated. and Just keep you guys informed on what's going on. Um, love you all. I don't know about you lot yet, but that was if eight people have lost their lives, hundreds more injured, yeah, including children, by the way, a child, you'd like to think your message afterwards will be a, a bit more sincere, do you know what I'm saying? Like, a bit more sincere, a bit more like, less spaced out. He looked high or hung over or something, I'm not too sure, like he was rubbing his head like this and not really talking and like, I, I, I don't get it. Like. like Acknowledge it more, do you know what I'm saying? Really, like, t communicate to the fans how you're really feeling it, because if that's how you're really feeling, then, I don't know, like, uh, listen, what do you think? What do you lot, let me know in the comment section, what do you lot think about that that statement? It just seemed a bit, I don't know, it was a bit weird, and like, Jamari made a good point, I didn't even think about this, the black and white filter. <laughs> why? You, what, what's the filter for? I know it's a little bit petty, but why are you, like, imagine, this is like a historical tragedy, do you know what I'm saying? People remember this for years. So what's with the filter? Like, is it for dramatic effects or something? I don't get it. Like, it was all weird. And, and that's what leads me to believe that he didn't really, he probably could have done more. Do you understand? I don't think he realized the, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. Maybe he didn't realize the gravity of the situation, but then you've got people here, yeah, people were trying to stop the show. 
Yeah, as you can see on your screen right now, as I'm talking, that, that's a person tr trying to get to the event organizers and stuff, telling them people are hurt, stop the show. Uh, you know, so why did that not get communicated to Travis? Do you understand? So this, this really could have been avoided. Now, not only this year, again, I've got to thank Jamari for this. He pretty much did all the, did all the digging for me. You know, I'm not, too I'm not too proud to say that I got my information from somewhere else, but you know, he dug up some tweets um, and sorry, not some tweet. I think it was a tweet and uh, a caption on, on Travis Scott's um, social media year that basically was inciting this type of behavior before the show. So as you can see on your screens right now here, yeah, after the event had sold out, he still tweeted, nah, and we still sneak in the wild ones in, right? And then look at this other caption on Instagram. Fuck, craziness, but fuck that. I'm putting a plan together now to get some more of the wild ones in. Even if I've got to sneak them in, on me. Seeing some people who want to make it but having a hard time or might not have the means, don't worry, I'm on it. Coinciding that with the fact that people were bursting through security this, some of them ticket holders apparently, some of them not, some of them just strangers. You can see how Travis could be blamed for this. You know what I'm saying? He's really inside it. He saw, he stopped the shows a couple times. I did, I, I've seen the footage of him stopping the show. He stopped it and said, yo, there's some people hurt down there, help him up, blah, blah, blah. But then he carried on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So maybe he didn't understand the gravity of the situation. I don't know, I'd like to think so. But even then, maybe he's just too dumb. He should have just, just stopped it. He should have just stopped the show. But again, someone's got to be held accountable here, whether it's him or whatever, but for me, yeah, that, that statement was weird. That statement was fishy. I don't believe all this devil worshiping stuff that the narrative, that's, that's just another narrative that social media has to push. I don't believe all that stuff. Let's just use our logic here that. Not only that, yeah, apparently someone was walking around with what? Injection. A man, obviously. Yep. It's made it out, it's made it over there now. People are getting spiked, injected over there. It happened at the um, festival. Yeah, so you got, there was, there was, some, there was some idiot, people yeah in my comment section on, on one of my other videos yeah about the injection thing again men again uneducated men again ignorant men again who um think it's uh, media hype and oh, and oh how can you get injections in clubs and stuff oh women are lying again women are lying you know just small dick energy dons yeah it happened at the festival are they lying now is the police is that is the police officer lying who gave that report lying because I've, I've seen it i've seen a, a police chief explained that even a, a security guard got injected as well, Inje a security guard got injected and a man was walking around injecting people with drugs, yeah? So this is happening, this is an epidemic. So, listen, yeah, it's all a bit weird and I don't really know what to believe and who the main culprit, at, who's most to blame here, but Travis Scott, yeah, is now, I'm now on the side where he's to blame a lot more than I originally gave, like, what I originally thought, do you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, so, it, that's what happens, more information comes to light and opinions start changing and, this is just such a tragic, like, a child died, like, children were hurt, do you know what I'm saying? And in, in horrific circumstances as well. And I just think that that statement was just a bit weird. I don't know, I just, uh, I don't know. It's strange, I don't know. But, um, but anyway, man, that's all I've got to say on that video now. Yeah, so my lunch is nearly over and I'm back to work, you know what I'm saying? So, like the video for me, please help your boy grow. And, um, yeah, I'll see you lot soon. Uh, rest in peace to all the people that died. Rest in peace to everyone. My thoughts and feelings go out to the, the family and friends again. And um, yeah, this really could have been avoided, man. This really could have been avoided. But human nature in it, once again, tragedy has to happen for us to learn from mistakes. You know, we're not proactive. We always, we're always lazy and do things the, the wrong way or we always have to do things the wrong way bare times just until we find it the right way. So anyway, whatever, I'm, I'm running now. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, let me know your thoughts. Peace.